You know your own degree. Sit down at first and last. The heart of work. Thanks to your majesty. Oneself will mingle with society and play the humble host. Our hostess keeps her safe, but in best time, we will require her welcome. For now, it's for me, sir. For, to all our friends. For my heart speaks for their welcome. Hey, listen! See, they encounter thee with their heart's thanks. Both sides are even. Here I'll sit in the middle. Be large in mirth, anon we'll drink a measure, the table round. There's blood upon my face. Tis Bengo's then. Tis better thee without than he within. Is he the spat? My lord, his throat is cut. That I did for him. Thou art the best in Yet he's good that did the same for thee. If thou didst it, thou wilt not die. Most royal sir, play on the skate. That comes my sick again. I have else been perfect. Whole as a marble, founded at the rock, as broad and general as a casing air. But now I am cabin, crib, confined, bound to salty doves and fears. But Bengal's safe. I'm a reward with twenty trenches gashes on his head. The least to death to nature. Thanks for that. There the great seven lies, the worm that's fled, has nature that in time will venom breed. The peace for the presence. Get thee gone. Tomorrow we'll hear ourselves again. My royal lord, you do not give the cheer. The peace is solid, does not in Dutch. Oh, this is making. Tis given with welcome. To be who best at home. From hence, the thoughts to me. The ceremony. This meeting was there with us. So Got some remembrance, sir. Now go digest his weight on appetite and health to both. May it please your highness sit. Here have we now our country's honored roof, with a great person of thankful present, who may I rather challenge for unkindness than pity for mischance. His absence, sir, lays blame upon his promise. Please, your highness, to grace us with your royal company. The table's full! Here is a place reserved, sir. Where? Here, my good lord, what is it that moves your highness? Which of you have done this? What, my good lord? Thou canst not say I did it. Never shave thy gory locks at me. Gentlemen, rise. His highness is not well. Sit, worthy friends. My lord is often deaf and has been since his youth. But pray you, keep seat. The fit is momentary. Upon thought, he will again be well. If much you know him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. Peace and regard him Are you a man? I am a bull and a bear look on that which might appall the devil. Oh, proper stuff, this is the very painting of your fear. This is the air drawn dagger by which you said led you to Duncan. Oh, these flaws and stars and posters too. True fear would well become a woman's story in a winter's fire, authorized by her granddam. Shame itself. What, why would you make such faces? When all's done, you look but on a stool. Pretty see there! Why, what care I, if thou canst not speak to? If charnel houses and our graves must send those that we bury back, our monuments shall be in the maws of kites. What quite unmanly folly. If I stand here, I saw him. Five 
Blood hath been shed ere now, if the olden time, ere humane to purge the gentle wheel, I, and since two murders have been performed, too terrible for the ear, the time has been that when the brains were out, the man would die, and there an end. But now they rise again, with twenty mortal murders on their crowns, and push us from our stools. This is more strange than such a murder is. My worthy lord, your noble friends do laugh you. I do forget. Do not muse at me, my most worthy friends. I have a strange infirmity which is nothing to those that know me. Come, love and health to all, and I'll sit down. Give me some wine. Fill full. I drink to the general joy of the whole table, and to our dear friend Banquo, whom we miss. Would he were here, to all and him we thirst, and all to all. Our, Our duties and the pledge! Arise oh, and quit my sight! Let the earth hide thee! Thy bones are marrowless, thy blood is cold! Thou art no speculation in those eyes which thou dost glare with! Oh, uh, speak of this good here, but it's a thing of custom! Tis no other, only it spoils the pleasure of the time! Oh, what man dare I dare approach that was the rugged Russian bear, the armed rhinoceros, or the herdsman tiger? Take any shape but that, and my firm nerves shall never tremble, or be alive again, and dare me to the desert with thy sword. If trembling I have it then, protect me the baby of a girl. Hence, horrible shadow, unreal mockery, hence! Why, so being gone, I am a man again. Pray you, sit still. You have displaced the mirth, broken the good meaning, with most admired disorder. Can such things be, and overcome us like a summer's cloud, without our special wonder? You make me strange, even to the disposition that I owe, when now I think you can behold such sights, and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks, when mine is blanched with fear. What sights, my lord? I pray you, speak not. He grows worse and worse. Question and rages him. At once, good night. Stand upon not the order you're going, but go at once. Good night and better health attend his majesty. Kind of night to all. <sighs> it will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood. Stones have been known to move and trees to speak. Augurs and understood relations have, by maggot pies and culls and rooks, brought forth the secret man of blood. What is the night? Almost the odds with morning. Which is which? How sayest thou that Macduff denies his person at our great bidding? Did you send to him, sir? I hear it by the way, but I will send. There is not a one of them, but in his house I keep a servant feed. I will tomorrow, and betimes I will to the weird sisters. More shall they speak, for now I am bent to know by the worst means the worst. For mine own good, all causes shall give way. I am in blood, steeped in so far that should I wade no more. Returning were as tedious as go o'er. Strange things I have in head that will uh, that will to hand, which must be acted ere they may be scanned. You will ask the seasons of all nature's sleep. Come, come, will to sleep. My strange and self-abuse is the omniscient fear that wants hard use. We are yet but young indeed.